Hello and welcome back to Mount and Blade Warband's Flora Smod. Today we are going to do another tip video. Uh, today I'm going to talk about relation. Now there are many things you can have relation with in Mountain Blade Warband or the mods. You can have relations with the towns, having bad relation, you can't get productive enterprises or anything with the guild master, but you can build it up by buying a drink for everyone at the tavern or doing missions for the guild masters. In villages, you can do missions for the village elders, or if you happen to find bandits in the village, you can save them. Or you can accept the reward, get a little more relation, but also whatever they happen to have in their inventory. Of course, looting villages causes it to go down, or stealing from them, what have you. And then of course there are the lords. Let's look at my reports. Known lords. I have pretty good relation with most of the lords. Most of them are above 50 in relation with me, with only about oh, 10 people down here who are under, 10 under 50 relation with me. So I'm doing rather well. As for my supporters, only these three have low relation with me. And not even that low, it's 20 relation. Crazy, right? But it's not just the lords and things that you build relation with. No, everything on the map can be... Many mods have many minor factions or bandits. In the Florus mod, we have uh, manhunters and bandits. I have been helping the bandits fight the manhunters because I think I have too many manhunters right now. The tundra bandit attacks the manhunters and I fight them. In a previous video you saw me trying to start a war with the kingdom of Rodox but I went about it wrong. I'll get about that in the next video but right now let's deal with the Manhunters and the Tundra Bandits. I'm going to help these Tundra Bandits defeat these Manhunters. Now I can help one or the other. I'm going to rush to the aid of the Tundra Bandits. This causes my relation with the Outlaws to go up and my relation with the Manhunters to go down, but I have 78 with the Manhunters. Now if I leave, I can do this again. Just the aid of the Tundra Bandits, and it causes it to do this again. See what I'm saying? I can keep increasing it until they are in a bad relationship with me. Now. In other mods, the bandits would still attack my faction, but for some reason in this Floris mod, they are not attacking... The bandits are not attacking my lords if I have good relation with them. So that's rather interesting. But enough about that, I'm going to charge the enemy. In time, once I've defeated the other factions, I may fight the bandits again. Anyway, let's get started. Now, as for the Lords, there are many ways to increase your relation with them. With the Lords of other factions, not your own, you can do missions for them. Uh, if they are low in troops, you can give them a certain amount of good troops and they'll increase in relation with you as well. You know, if they need them. If they don't need more troops, well, that won't work. Hmm. 
<clears throat> oh, also helping a lord in battle increases your relation with them, or fighting them decreases it. Uh, you know, there's lots of stuff you can do to build your relation with different characters in the game. Some lords with bad personality types will decrease in relation if you give a beef to someone. They're hard to bring over to your side, but I find I can do this rather easily. Now, my current plan is to get these Tiger Bandits a lot of troops. I'm not going to take these manhunters because I'm eventually going to turn on them. I'll let them hang on to the looters. Or do I want the looters? Hmm. Okay, I'm done. Let my companions take the rest. I'm going to use these bandits here. And they are going to go near Slek, where all of the Saranid Sultanate are. The Saranids have a lot of troops, but I will defeat them. Now, little man hunter. Rush to the aid of the Tundra Bandits. Let us charge the enemy. Yes, that will do. Entry, hold your position. I want my manhunters to take out most of them if they can. And of course there are the missions your minister can give you to, you know, help increase or decrease, you know, settle disputes with your lords. You can favour one lord to increase their relation, but it'll cause another lord to go down about twice as much in relation with you. If one lord's higher than the other, it might be wise to do that. But I prefer to, well... I prefer to mediate the dispute and get some renown for those kind of missions. Also, there are certain individuals in the Floris mod you can talk to at your court to send gifts to lords or villages to increase your relation with them. To the villages, I believe they send uh, fish and cheese. Maybe bread, I, I can't be certain. And to the lords, they send wine and ale. Now, for your lord to increase in relation with you, you have to send them, like, exquisite wine. It costs a lot of money. Or exquisite ale. Fortunately, there are places on the map where you can buy cheap wine and ale. Whether or not it's, it is exquisite or not, well, that's to be... That's to be wondered about. <laughs> okay, let us charge the enemy. Kill them all. Mm. Might as well go in my chest. Not that it matters. I have a lot of elephant riders. But that is good. I'll be able to trample my enemies with ease. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Okay, you got them. Good. Only two dead. Yes, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, do I want this guy? Hmm. I do, because they're halfway decent. Done. Let your companions take the rest. Now, 112 manhunters I can take once I betray them. The following other Tundra bandits. Interesting. You know what? I may have to kill this guy right now. Great thing about bandits, you only have two conversations with them. Nothing, I leave you in peace or surrender or die. Oh, what do I want? I want you to surrender or die. Charge the enemy. Hmm. And I'm going to take all of his prisoners. Hooray for me. There might be a really small party. Now that I think of it. I have all cavalry army right now. I'm a little wore out from fighting all of those manhunters for them. Whereas most of these guys are fresh. Of course, because they're friendly, my lord that's following me won't help me against these fellows. Uh, perhaps I should have left him alive. Oh uh, well. Hold on a second. There we go. Okay, we've won. Perfect. I have a larger army and uh, these guys. They're more expensive than the um, two ransom brokers than these guys. To level three units. You go up here. And you. I want to keep the slaver chiefs near the bottom. Okay. My word, I do not want to fight that all at once. Wow. Yeah. Those manhunters have lots of prisoners. Well, I guess I'll end the video here. Next time I may be fighting the Saranid Sultanates. Anyway, please um, like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you've enjoyed my tip video on relation. Anyway, see you next time. Oh yes, and um, 
One more thing I forgot to mention is sovereign relation. Sovereign relation is the relationship you have with each individual faction. Right here I have nine relation with the Rodox and twenty with the Saranid Sultanate. Eventually I'm going to lower those relations and conquer the map. Anyway, I will get back to you in just a moment. Now, in addition to sovereign relation, there's also the relationship of your companions. Sajad has 84 morale, which means he's very happy with my um, command and will stay quite a while. However, if that um, morale right here goes down to 10 or maybe 0, it means he is unhappy and will most likely ask to leave. Now you can try to convince them or bribe them in the Floris mod, perhaps other other, or perhaps other mods. But uh, companions are very useful. They have certain skills depending upon how you upgrade them. Some can be healers, trainers, good fighters, and what have you. Also, in addition to companion relation, there's the relationship between yourself and ladies. Now, a, sing a lady who is not married is a potential wife. However, if you have good relationships with um, women who are already married by releasing them, you know, from captivity or uh, dedicating a tournament to them, they go up in relation. However, if you are married and you dedicate a tournament to another woman, she goes down in relation with you. You don't want that. Now, for a married woman, if they have good relation with you, usually one or more, you can ask them to act as a go-between between yourself and a lord who has negative relationships with you. If a lord has negative relationships with you, you can ask that lady to send a gift. All you have to do is give them 1,000, 2,000, or 3,000 dinars, and it will cause the relation to go up 1, 2, or 3. But they can only bring it up to 0. Unless it's like minus 1 relation, you give them a 3,000 dinar gift, and it goes up to plus 2. But after that, you can't give them any more gifts. They can only become neutral with you rather than hating you. And, uh, well, that is all I think I can say on relation. Um, anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. See you next time.